continue to the show. I really wish there was more Daisy play. Because I feel that the same character, maybe different dyed hair. I think they're identical. Uh, there's a couple of animation differences, but for the most part, it's going to be really just cosmetic. Game, game one, difference. winner's finals, Smashville, Salem against Mute Ace Peach. Basically, it's going to be a battle of right now who can actually contest on shield a little more. Snake can pull out grenades, shield on the ground, and pop Peach up, who's more floaty. This is where things get difficult. So hard for Snake to recover. If Mute Ace is able to keep him off stage like Whoa! that, oh my god! The 24 second stop! Automatically, and Salem is gonna have to mix up his recovery a little more to get around that. If it's one person who has missed what maybe three edge guards all day, it's Mutes. Otherwise, he lands them in a dominating fashion. I was thinking about this matchup. It feels like it would benefit Snake on stage, but the second he has to Nikita, Peach is going to eat him alive. And he's trying to get in the kid right there, but Mew Ace, of course, his Peach is floating right at Snake's head level. It's hard for him to use any tilts or even explosives right there. Yeah, the up tilt really going to be the strongest answer there. We see him going for it time and time again, there, and that's going to be enough. All right, well, that's the move that he needs to use to actually contest that dash attack. Up tilt going right through dash attack. Grenade on the ledge. Try to make a ledge option, but Mew Ace is familiar with that. Grenade. His float cancel right back down. Actually put Peach down in a diagonal horizontal trajectory coming down. All right, we see Peach with the grenade in hand. Got to be careful. For those who don't know, there is a small amount of HP on each grenade. Strong knockback moves will explode it, as will fire as well. At this point, it's what you can get. Both players just trying to put huge attacks on shield, whittling it down. Because even if you miss, that shield gets smaller and smaller. Eventually, one of them's going to hit. You, you have to jump out of shield at some point. The question is, which player is better at reading jumps out of shield? And there's so many good options to cover that as well. Snake with up tilt, Peach with up smash, back here out of shield. Ooh, great parry, but spot dots. No punish right now from Mutes. Of course, if you do land a parry, you get a three frame advantage. Great for landing very strong blows. Such a huge difference maker. That individual mechanic added to ultimate, increasing the ability of defensive play. All right, back air. Salem coming back. Air dunk to the ledge, of course. Got a stitch. Watch out. Got a stitch, but at this point, he's already at kill percent. You got to imagine he's going to try to hold on to that for as long as possible. You mentioned really any area going to be able to close it out. Using that at a later uh, percent on the next stock would really to his benefit. If I was him, I would throw it because right now, one more grenade is going to kill you. You might as well go for it. We'll see. Oh, whips it. Also, he was his up tilt. Down smash or down throw up tilt. Tried and true every single time. And after that just absolutely destructive first stock, Mudeis has not been able to get that same explosive power. Falling for that up air that uh, he's so high in the bubble, there's no way to predict what size he's going to be on. Still making great use of that B reverse in midair. I'm wondering if we're going to see a, perhaps a parasol to try to call out that quick early up beat. From I, I haven't seen it yet. I really do think it's going to be a good up Or just the high back air. That back air, so much priority in all of Peach's aerials. And that's a really unfortunate uh, moment for Salem. The grenade actually putting Mutace that high in the air, able to cover that cypher. All right. So many up smashes coming out, but Mutace so comfortable avoiding every single one, but not that grenade. Actually, Salem taking a big percent lead here. Yeah, and Peach, such a light character as well. And if you time those grenades adequately, you can actually start a double explosion train, which will stun shield enough to leave an opening. So here's what's going to make this matchup really difficult at low percents. We see the grenades on the ground. The down tilt's going to hit Snake, but it's going to pick up a grenade, absolutely negating the strength Whoa. of the finisher. And while that's true, Salem landing his up tilt exactly where he has to put him. Goes up 1-0 so far. This is a whole different kind of Snake. Uh, it really is unique how he's playing it. His approaches and where he's putting explosives is definitely like an, an, an offbeat sort of snake, which I think is catching a lot of these players off guard. This is this is not older Venom Snake. This is solid snake right now. We see the crowd discussing the potential outcomes of this set right now. There's a lot of discussion, a lot of torn thoughts, thinking that we're going to see a game five potentially here in winners finals. I don't want to see anything else. I want to see this go back and forth. We'll see what happens. It's it's all momentum carry, right? It's it's a question of adaptation because like you can say, oh, I'll try pulling out this bag of chips game one, but then a whole new arsenal game two. But you gotta imagine your your opponent has his own way to defend against anything that you do. It's all magic knowledge. That's what it boils down to. But we haven't seen Mu A's land too many down tilts, and the down tilts are really like the big conversation starter in terms of getting a bunch of percent on a character that's heavy as Snake. But as we mentioned oh. in the last game, if a grenade is on the ground, it's going to negate the ability of that down tilt too. I let's say that. Salem's so quick with those. 
And Snake won't die at the top until wet, very high percent. But off the side is where you want to kill him. So Mew A should probably opt to try to get Sim off the ledge a little more often, even at lower percent, because he really is that good at edge guarding. I believe Snake is either seventh or eighth heaviest in the game, whereas oh, yeah. Peach is on the bottom ten. I have no doubt. Great back air, but Salem beautiful DI to get away from that. Parasol to cover up? No? Going for an up air? Less committal, but less range on it. Peach Bomber. Okay, the Peach Bomber was an attempt, but instead he snapped to the ledge. Whoa! Very... Thought the back air was going to finish it, but the grenade instead. Yeah, actually a very odd trade right there. Oh, all hits of the fair there. The whirlwind barrage for Snake. He, look, and look, he's happy to keep a, one grenade on the floor, but one grenade in his hand. So even if he does get hit by something strong, the grenade might actually negate that trajectory. Raw Nikita, but it's not enough. C4. We see Mudes trying to close this gap here. Gonna stuff out the approach there with that uh, tilt. And right here, 18% snake. You don't want to go for stray hits. You want to go for combo starters only. But he's trying to get a down tilt. Every time he tries to get into Salem's face, Salem's happy to stand back, let two explosions do the work, and reset the neutral. That's, that's, that's the difficult part, though. We saw him finally hit a combo starter with that dare, but he had to shield both the grenade and the mortar. Yeah. Waiting very patiently. Up to Will to the Peach right here. Oh, <laughs> the back here to cover the option. Didn't quite come out too, too soon. Luckily, only to take the grenade there. If he had been a couple of frames back, that F up tilt would have finished him. Salem rolled in there. But you, hey, sometimes the obvious option is the one you expect the least because you know it's dangerous. All right, we see the grenade. We see the mortar. What's the option here? Surprise and a kill right there. Peach at 158. The reverse of the grenade. Got to be careful and shield. Oh, oh no he doesn't throw. The down throw. Definitely a whiff on Salem's part. Or he wasn't aware of the percent. Oh, two explosives. Mew Ace at 178. Even dash attack will kill there. And now Salem, one stock away from going to a 2-0 lead. We've seen so many moves from Snake kill throughout this tournament. Such a strong character with incredible knockback. What's going to be the option to come back here? Oh, the C4 yeah. into the back air. 41% off of that. It, it really is. like Usually two hits is like a nice 20. Snake does 40. Two hits is 40. <gasps> oh, but the, uh, it doesn't break the cypher. Wait, 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 wait. What is this? The, the, the residual hitbox of Parasol seemed to juggle Snake a little bit. Oh, we go for the RPG, but he's going to... No! How did he not die from that? Oh, coming down with it, snapping to ledge. Very clever by Salem. Wow, what a great pass of all there. Mude scrambling to get this kill right now. Is One grenade coming back to haunt him. Going to have to get down. There it is, a forward air. So reliable. And now last stock for this game, too. So he's exploded the C4 so he can lay another one. See how oh. he's able to play around it. There's that first down tilt, but he's got a grenade in hand. And there's another explosion. Mew Ace almost got that very, very good drag down combo, but right now it's Salem's game to win. The Staying sky grounded. high Nikita's Nikita. right now, too. Nikita falling down, a little bit of a string, but missed that third hit. So important for Mew Ace, and looks like he's one hit away now from dying. Gotta play perfect right here, but there's just too much on the screen. Salem goes up 2 0. We've seen both these games go down to a last stock situation, but Salem never losing his cool throughout. Waiting patiently now. Do you think he's gonna run it right back? We've seen it a couple times now. Mudes looking pretty comfortable. Doesn't really feel like the stage is gonna impact it as much as really just the matchup itself. So loser, loser of this obviously goes to loser's final, which will play against the winner of Myron and, and MVD. And MVD. The winner of this guarantees themselves at least $3,000. Not bad money. It's a good Sunday. You can definitely buy guac at Chipotle. And now once again, no switch from the players. We have, we've seen that only very few times. And the one time a player did it, which was 8-Bit uh, Man switching to Diddy Kong from Rob, didn't work out too well for him. And we do see Nashville again. I love you, 8-Bit Man. <laughs> Great opening combo from Mew Ace right here. A lot more aggression, 63 in the first 10 seconds. This is the first time we finally see that grenade breaking that pressure for a little bit there. Now we're gonna see the F-Tilt on shield into the initial grab, again with the F-Tilt. And the, just the lead completely negated by the strength of Snake. Full down smash, oh, but the grenade again. 
and unfortunately Peach with her slow airspeed, no real answer to that high recovery. He's trying to put the turnip in a place where it forced him to move, but Salem is a little more confident in that, but still managing to get the kill right now. Mew Ace with the first lead of the set. It really seemed from the bubble that Salem actually might have put himself into the blast zone there. Wow, turnip to grab, actually connected into a back air. 34, and Salem grabs a turnip. Very, very clever uh, defense right there. Down throw here. or forward throw. Such great coverage with that grenade at ledge. Wow, oh, oh, this crazy. is bad. With the aggression. Waiting for Selm to come down, but Selm did not budge. You notice that? He did not air dodge. He knew what he wanted him to find. That's a confident man. Stay on the ledge. Wave landing onto the ledge. Up tilts. Up tilts everywhere. Ooh. Right. Snapping once again with using that air dodge. First time we've seen Toad all game. And that will hit below ledge, too. Salem's got to be very careful. Okay. Oh, the air dodge is going to do it. I love the Peach Bomber on the Cypher. That's something where some Mutes can take advantage of Salem's recovery. Risky option here, but all of a sudden, Mew Ace about to three-stock Salem. Up air, up air, up air. We see it again and again. Oh, the grenade break, though. So good for Snake to get out of bad situations. Avoiding every up tilt so far. Oh, a flow cancel. So powerful. 80%. Wow, this might be a this might be a two-minute game. So Hold much on. pressure. Oh, my okay. God, the Peach Bomber finisher there. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure if it was going to be side B or up B. I, I respect it hard. Oh, the Nikita hitting below ledge. Another one now. Gonna have to get it back. Ooh, what a tech from Mute Ace! The Cypher there saving Salem. Oh, got the grenade. <laughs> Mute Ace is reminding Salem this, this set is nowhere near over yet. The F tilt gonna finally close out that first stock. Two minutes there. Salem was unable to finish it. Down tilt. Up air, what's the where we're going here? I wonder if down to up beam might have connected. Turn up drop. Wait, wait. Oh no, he's low. What he's low. Doing? He's low. Oh, what? All right, that up B goes too way, high. I'll, I'll say it goes too high. Way further than I thought. All right, literally right now, Mewis can pick his aerial of choice to close out this game. Salem going high for the up team time. Gonna go low okay. now to get back to Did stage. You see, Salem used the fact that the downer gives you a little bit of hop to recover just to get that little more avoidance. Down air out of shield there. C4 missing though. He's, he's not giving up. And this should be a kill back throw, of course. Going to game four now. We're gonna see where Salem's gonna take Mewis. Shout out to the Toad. I'm glad. I mean, 3-0s, we see them a lot. And winners finals are the two of the best players in the building. We want to see some contesting. We, we, we want to see some people struggling for the wins here. Starting to claw back, too. Those first two games, pretty confidently for Salem. And now Mudez able to establish himself in game three. Potentially can now really build something in this set. No reason at all to switch characters here. These two have been confident in this. We've seen Salem play Link in the past, play Bayonetta, but it seems now that given the success that he's had at Nimbus and now here, this seems to be his calling. It looks like Salem is now a Snake main. I love it. I'm so happy yeah. to see Snake back in this game too. Such a fantastic character. When Nintendo announced that they were bringing back every single character that had been in the series, I think it really made everyone really MVD impressive. MVD cried on stream, showing true emotion to see his main back. Great use of up right now from Mutes. If he keeps playing the way he played that game three, this might be reverse 3-0. He's starting to work around having that grenade interrupt his combos too, throwing it up to try to recover Snake going high, which is a pretty effective option. The grenade goes fairly high when thrown. And right now, the Nikita going up, trying to use as it falling to get a little more, you know, vice versa hitbox action, one after another so that it covers all options. See Mude's trying to push his luck a little bit with that fair, getting beat out by the dash attack. Now he's going to get stuck on ledge. Salem rolling back into center, though. And the well, up tilt. The fact that Salem barely avoided that forward air with rolling onto the stage and then getting the up tilt. It's basic, baby. Yeah. It's basic. He's showing him more respect than last game because he knows what an angry Mude is capable of. Yeah, now the onus on Mude is to close out the stock before any extra damage gets added. Up smash after up smash. Oh. So many attacks on shield. Salem saying we do not want to game five here. Wow. And air dodge seems to be the way to the eye, though. It's really, really good. Whoa, Peach Bomber. He's still alive. The air dodge so strong in the blast zone. Oh, my gosh. Did he live in this, too? The answer is yes. Wow. So Salem's good actually, from Salem. He's actually a master of recovery. But a forward tilt from Peach, it does kill upwards. First time I've seen that move being used like all tournament. 
crowd fairly confident in Salem's ability to close this out in the game four. Mude's going to have something to say oh. about that. Uh, I never, I never ever see where those are. Grenade catching the turn. Oh, oh, oh my, that would have been so sick. Oh baby. All right, Nikita doing the work for him. Oh, misses the grab. He starts to get his own combo here. Thirty-five, but once again yeah. escaping to the sky. <laughs> Four finish. Salem, one stock away from Grand Finals winner's side. C4 it has that weird combo breaker potential. It's like, you can go for it, but I'm going to trade a huge hit with you. It actually cost me stock right there, but you're right. Salem, about this close now getting into our Grand Finals set. Just needs one more kill here. But Mute Ace, as we've seen before, can actually find explosive burst. But so many well-placed bombs are now from Salem. It's looking like it's grim. He's going to need that explosive burst against this munition expert in Solid Snake. He's happy to stand on that platform at 103. This is looking all but over. We see him regrab the grenade, tossing it out there. No one really taking it. Oh, the wave land back. <laughs> tempting him to approach forward. We got wave dashes. That's okay. Down to 134 for Peach. Now basically can't get hit by anything for the rest of this game. Oh, seeing that down to conversion. An extremely uphill battle right now for Mudez. Salem. <gasps> He's got the no. He's got the no. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. The only option available to there is to call out the timing exactly with an air dodge, but Salem just waiting patiently, letting it brew, letting it simmer, and closing out.